In today's world of RC, there are so many different kinds of airplanes. Like Warbirds, we have giant scale airplanes that people have probably never seen. We have iconic planes, and we even have the option to fly FPV from the cockpit of the airplane while we're sitting on the floor. Now with all these different types of planes, what's right for you? I wanna go through all of the options, starting with the easiest to the most intricate. Now, first on the list, we have toy grade airplanes. I got this one from Amazon. These are gonna be the most durable. As you see, the wings flex, so you're not gonna break it. it. Reminds me of that meme. And they are the cheapest. These are really fun to make edits with. Now, these are usually two to four channel. This one right here is three channel. We don't have a rudder, and we also don't have control surfaces for the aileron. So the ailerons are gonna work with differential thrust, but believe it or not, this thing actually flies and flies pretty well. Oh, just in time. Now, if your budget does require you to get a toy grade model, I do recommend getting a four channel. This little Corsair flies amazing, but they do come in all different shapes and sizes. Now, these planes have a gyro and they're a blast to fly. This is the F-22. It's a pusher prop and it flies perfect. It's super fast. And listen to how loud this thing is. I'm gonna come right overhead here. Now they do have plenty of power, you can fly up high, and as I said, they have a gyro so I can let go of the sticks, but unfortunately I send this into a tree. It's flying itself there, look at that, perfect. Into the tree. Oh, that's there to stay. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting that out to show you that it's actually okay, so I came up with a better plan to show you the durability. Oh yeah, I'm gonna crash this into the house. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think you just woke up the tenant. What? I mean, come on. It doesn't get better than that. If you are considering getting a toy grade airplane, make sure you do your research because as cool as this cub looks, it actually is uncontrollable. I almost broke my fence and gave my cousin an asthma yes. attack. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> I didn't want to go back over the fence. <laughs> Now next on the list is ready to fly hobby grade RC airplanes. These are amazing and I'm comfortable putting one of these in the hands of my girlfriend and somebody who's really never flown an RC jet before. Now what defers these from the toy grade airplanes is that the hobby grade ones are meant to progress with. The toy grade airplanes are not flyable once you shut that gyro off, where these hobby grade airplanes fly just as good with the gyro off as it does with the gyro on. If you are considering getting a ready to fly plane, be cautious because this Habu STS 70mm is ready to fly basic, meaning it does not come with the battery and charger. Only the plane, the remote, and the receiver. However, this 1220mm Ranger does come complete with the plane, remote, receiver, battery, and charger all in the box. The cool thing about it, it comes with wheels and floats, but to be honest, I prefer flying this thing off of the floats. Now next up we have UMX planes. These are ultra micro series bind and fly. Now bind and fly means that you have to have your own remote. It has a spectrum receiver so it binds to a spectrum remote. You also need to have your own battery and charger already but these planes are absolutely top tier. Plenty of functions with these things and you can fly them in small spaces. Now when I say functions they have things like flaps, they have things like lights and they are just all in top tier planes. A lot of them run on two to three S, but you can find the occasional one S bind and fly plane. They are sold by E-Flight, which is a brand under Horizon Hobby, which also takes a lot of these UMX planes and makes them in the bigger version like that air tractor. Now I'm gonna group the next section together. We have bind and fly park size flyers and we have plug and play park size flyers. Plug and play means that you just get the plane and you have to add your own receiver. Now this is good for people running other radio systems like Radio Master or Futaba. But if you do have a Spectrum, then you could just buy a Spectrum receiver. This F-15 is by Arrows. It's one of my favorite planes, and I did make a full YouTube video on this, so I'll leave that link down below if you guys wanna check that out. Now, these type of models are amazing. They come in all different shapes and sizes. You got prop planes, you got EDFs, and pretty much everything in between, and they take the guesswork out of setting something up. Very minimal effort to put these together, and you know all the research is done, and they're gonna fly well out of the box. So you're comfortable putting some expensive stuff inside like FPV head tracking, knowing you're not gonna crash this thing on the Maiden. Another amazing thing about planes of this style is that you'll probably never have the skills required to build a B2 stealth bomber, let alone design a flight controller that's gonna enable this thing to fly as good as it does. Just listen to this thing pass.
Next up, we have ARFs, which stands for Almost Ready to Fly. Essentially, you're just buying the airframe of the airplane. You need to supply the power system, the servos, as well as everything required for a plug and play, remote battery charger and receiver. Now this is where you're gonna find your giant scale airplanes and all of your really high quality builds. Now this right here is the Savage Bobber 92 inch wingspan, which I absolutely love. You're gonna need to do things with these like glue on all the hinges and assemble the whole plane from scratch. But there really is no better feeling than setting up your own plane, bringing it to the field and seeing it fly for the first time. Now this right here is my first ever gas plane. I actually didn't build this, I bought this pre-owned. So if you guys want an ARF style plane, but you don't have the patience to actually set it up, try to find one at a local swap meet or even just hit a local marketplace. Next up, we're gonna have ARF Pros. Now these are pre-assembled planes. They do have the servos in it. And if it's a jet, it will have the retracts as well. It's just missing the power system. Now, why would somebody buy this missing a power system? Maybe they have a jet that they crashed, but the motor is still good and they just need a new airframe with the servos already installed. Or in my case, we're gonna add a turbine and all we need to do is add our, all of our turbine stuff, our receiver, plug everything in, and we're just about ready to fly like I did with this Avant. Now, I just want you to listen to it real quick because it does sound amazing. While we're on the topic of turbines, HSD does make a plug and play turbine kit. So this has the retracts and the servo pre-installed and they even tell you what turbine you need. So plug and play means it comes with everything. All you have to do is add your own turbine, your own receiver and your own batteries and you are ready to fly a turbine jet. And this T-33 right here is absolutely beautiful. One of the positives of buying a plug and play is that you know that you're buying all the required stuff, so it's gonna fly perfect as soon as you set it up, you'll be ready to get it out to the field. Let's take a step back to electric planes. These right here are 3D printed airplanes. Now these are a mix between custom and ARFs. ARFs because we're gonna have to set the whole thing up. Add our servos, add our power systems, add all of our control hinges and linkages. The only difference is instead of buying our ARF kit, we actually have to print the fuselage. Now these things are a little more flimsy than wood, so when they crash, they pretty much disintegrate. The guy who printed this thing is a good friend of mine. His name's Christian. I'm leaving his YouTube handle below and it's also on the screen right here. So make sure you check him out. He definitely has a passion for this right here and he prints all kinds of stuff and never gets discouraged. Now the cool thing about 3D printed planes, they come in all different shapes and sizes and it's only getting bigger. There's more and more people developing planes. Now this one right here with the twin props actually didn't fly that good. He's working on a new one right now because the CG was off, but it has some cool stuff like retracts and it also has flight laps so 3d printing is definitely coming a long way and last on the list is going to be giant scale aircraft now i was fortunate enough to have a phone call with tyler perry back in october and he actually sent me this video so i hope he doesn't mind that i'm using it it's just that these are some of the most amazing airplanes i've ever seen and it still blows my mind that they're actually radio controlled now i know he didn't actually build this one but Rami RC is the guy who actually builds a lot of tyler perry's things so if you don't know who he is make sure you check out his page he custom makes these on CAD, 3D prints the molds before he finalizes the actual parts. Now these airplanes right here use some of the biggest engines I have ever seen. Yes, this is electric, and when they're done, they're absolute showpieces. Now I'll never get to this scale of flying, but whatever you're flying, just make sure you're enjoying yourself, make sure you're making a lot of good friends along the route, and always aim for them smooth landings. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time. And it's in one piece. Oh. Congratulations on your first jet flight.